keep them focused and make sure they keeping up with the playbook and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. What about the spring for you, just in terms of the things you came into this uh, offseason wanting to work on? Where do you feel like you are on, on those about midway through the first uh, set of drills? Uh, I wanted to work on not being so handsy, just keeping myself on top and in position. But that's mainly the thing I've been focusing on, making plays that come to me, little stuff like that. It's the little things I've been trying to work on now, upgrading my game. What's the competition been like now that you guys add Storm Duck in there? The competition's been great. He adds to it. We compete every day with each other. It helps the room get better every day. Can you give us a scouting report on Storm? We haven't really seen much of him. What can you tell us about him? He's a big physical corner that likes to play football. He likes to get his hands on. I like him. He's my boy. You've heard me say business-like. That's, that's what a bunch of coaches have said. How would you kind of describe his demeanor? Yeah, he's focused. I, don't, I wouldn't say business-like. That sounds boring. Like, he's a cool dude. But like, <laughs> he, he focused. He, he comes in. He gets uh, his work done. You know, he he treats it like he's a vet, like he's, a, like he's who he is. You, I mean, how many roles can you fill in this defense this year? Whatever role they need me to fill. Safety, corner, nickel, dime, whatever <laughs> they say, I'm out there. Yeah, how much more comfortable are you guys heading into year two with Manny Diaz? Real comfortable. We have full faith in his defense, everything he calls, we're excited to go play it. We're out there really having fun and flying around. What's the competitiveness like, you know, in practice, just getting ready for, for the spring game and just, you know, challenging each other to be better? It's hard. We love to compete. The competition is good. It's competition in every, almost every position out there. So we come out here ready to work every day. Is the challenge that the standard Country. this defense has set, just the fact that, you know, how great you were last season, is that just Hold on, repeat the first. Is the ch challenge just the how great the standard you guys set for yourselves last season with how great this defense was? Is that something that, that motivates you to, to go out and, and step that up even more? Yeah, I would say so. We want to be better. We want to improve each year. So. Yeah, I would say so. We're trying to beat last year and the year before that. We want to be the best group. You guys led the country pretty much wire to wire last year in PBUs. How were you able to, and I think at one point, well past the midway point of the season, you guys had like maybe five total penalties in the secondary. How were you able to play so clean, and is that something that you've, you've kept up through spring ball and, and you know try to keep that a focus? It's something that's taught and is emphasized. Don't be handsy. Play with technique. Everyone in the room has great feet. Everyone can all run, so there's no need to hold. So we just go out there and we trust our talent. Coach Diaz said he's looking for leaders. Obviously, the guys that you're sending on to the NFL were big personalities and big leaders on this team. Do you want to be one of those guys? Are you trying to step up? And if so, how how do you lead? Yeah, but I'm not really the guy that's going to yell and hear my voice a lot. I like people to just see what I do and want to mimic it. So I'm going to lead by example. Who is a vocal leader on the team? Is there someone that, that is willing to yell? Yeah, uh, Ron, Ron Elise, uh, Kane Adis. People like that. The DBs kind of, we're, we're a real close knit group, so we handle all those situations in each other. Darman, I mean, you and Storm kind of follow similar paths, transferring somewhere else into here. What's it been like having him and having that shared experience and uh, what's your relationship like with him? Uh, it's, been, it's been cool because I know where he's coming from. Like, I know how it feels to come here from a new place. So I just check in with him, make sure he pads right, make sure he's uh, keeping up with everything and not getting overwhelmed because this place is different from other places. So you got to make sure you stay on your stuff. What's the feedback been from so far? He, he enjoys it. He's just get, still getting comfortable, still learning everybody, getting to know everybody, but he enjoys it. Why is this place different? different? The standard, you held that. You held that championship level standard right? in every way. Going from going to class to practice, games, you're expected to be great. So, and I love it. I love that. But How do you grow accustomed to that standard when you transfer in? You have to. <laughs> if you don't, you're going to feel like you got to get out. So you either get used to it or you get out. From the other side of the ball, what have you seen from the receiving core this spring? Has anybody stood out to you? Yeah, um, I've been liking the way Driver can move in the slot. Lambert is mm -hmm. getting some reps in the slot. I, I like him as like the shifty dude, stuff like that. All the guys are giving us work right now. So yeah, You mentioned covering the slot, something that you've had some experience with. Do you expect to excel in that kind of role? Why are you so well suited for it? Yeah. Um, I've been working on it a lot during the offseason so because I knew I would be coming in playing dime and reps at nickel. And I'm just good at it. I'm, my feet's real good. I can, I'm good at understanding what's coming at me. So it's just little stuff like that. What was it like for you guys just to see the, the run the basketball team? Was on? Everybody talked about the school for football. What was it like for you guys to see how, how well the basketball team was? It was cool. It was in full support for them. Those, those are boys. They support us. We support them. It was great. I'm happy for them. Man, you said that everyone kind of wants to step in for Jair in the Prowler package. Uh, what's that been like? Who are some guys that you've seen kind of step into that role so far? Myself. 
What's, what, what do you bring <laughs> to the table in that regard? Uh, a lot of stuff you saw Jair do, the blitzing with the sacks and stuff like that, and then just being able to read the quarterback's eyes and make plays. Did you? Manny also said that actually seeing Jair do that last year opened a lot of players' eyes. Can you take us through that? Like. When, when you actually saw him do that, was it like, did a, a light bulb go off and think, oh, that's pretty cool? Yeah, it, it looks fun out there. Like, he's out there roaming the field. And Jair's a playmaker, you all know. <laughs> he's out there roaming the field, watching the quarterback, just doing what he does. And anybody wants to do that. Anytime you can just play football and be you, you have fun out there. How do you get good at that? What'd you say? How do you get good at that? Well, first, you got you got to understand offenses. You got to know what's coming at you. And then you got to have confidence to know that you're reading the quarterback and you can make the play that comes to you. A couple more guys. Say- did Manny say, hey, we want you to try this? Or did you go to him and say, hey, I really like that? I mean, I don't know if y'all remember. I was playing Dom mm-hmm. originally, so like I already had some on. I was already familiar with it. Jair stepped in, and I moved the corner more mm-hmm. primarily. So it was just, it was kind of, I was ready for it. Mm-hmm. You what talk is, about reading the quarterback. What's it been like watching Drew and Bo kind of uh, develop? Because they're both obviously young guys. They did. They're developing quick, to be honest with you. Drew makes crazy throws. Uh, Bo makes crazy throws. It's, it's been nice. Sometimes the defenses switch up. You know, it's been nice. What's the craziest throw you've seen them make? What's the most impressive thing? It's a few. Um, I want to say Drew hit Keandre on like a wheel or something in the flat. Keandre jumped up and caught it one hand, but it was the only place he could put the ball at, so that was, that was a great play. How many, 